very rarely a hybrid sneaker created by a company will be liked by the customers, the critiques, you know, the collectors around the internet. Hey guys, welcome back to the Kickstarter channel. Today we're looking at the highly anticipated and largely extremely surprised pair that came out just recently. This is the Reebok Shaq Victory Pump. And I have to say, uh, even in images, when I saw it initially, I thought this is an extremely nice and clean design of a shoe. I've actually a mashup of two shoes that I absolutely love. Obviously, we're talking about the Court Victory Pump, one created by Mr. Ralph Cerner, and we're talking about the Shaq Attack, the very first signature shoe for Shaquille O'Neal created by Judy Close. And what the project manager at Reebok has done here is taken cues from both shoes, some of the most signature uh, lines, some of the most signature cues, are implemented in this shoe and on top of that has added one of the best genuine leathers that I have seen since even back in the days and I've said that many times before for other shoes but this is an all-around almost entirely made out of genuine leather shoe and it's extremely surprising because Reebok are not putting this kind of a level of a leather on original classic releases like the Shaq Attack or some other models that deserve to have this kind of leather but they're putting it on this hybrid sneaker that nobody really expected and everybody that I know is excited about. Now, I'm gonna go into the details right away and I'm gonna talk about uh, everything you see on the sneaker, but there's so many things to talk about here. There's so many details that I absolutely love. I'm gonna continue mentioning throughout the video how amazing this leather is and this kind of a level of genuine thick cut leather you normally don't see in pretty much any sneakers today. It was really rare even back in the day. I mean, we had leather, but not this kind of uh, thick cuts. Of course, I absolutely appreciate that. And the only synthetic part you see on this sneaker is the Shaq signature uh, overlay, or uh, what people used to call that, the squatting poodle. Uh, but this ornament is the only one and it's synthetic new book. Everything else on the shoe, uh, the, the toe box, the toe guard, the side panels, even the heel. This is the most unexpected for me personally because I just saw several different sneakers from Reebok, including the Twilight Zone, including some of Shaq Attacks, and they did not feature a genuine leather on the heel. And I'm telling you, it is so nice and soft uh, that it's just so mesmerizing to me and so reminiscent to the old days. I absolutely love this. Of course, we have genuine new book going around the hill, uh, forming the vector logo and only the bottom portion where kind of meets the midsole is kind of a painted over the genuine leather and the signature support plastics that were on the court victory pump now are not really plastics. They're more like of a rubber and they're softer than before. So these, this is a welcome change because this is one of the elements I never liked on the original court victory pump because it was kind of harder uh, to break in, I guess. I mean, I know what it's made. It's to support you when you're playing tennis, but for casual wear, it's a little bit uncomfortable. Now, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the ton. We have Reebok and tennis branding on both sides. They're stitched in, they're not painted, which is excellent. And we have sort of a hybrid created uh, pump uh, cover, obviously. We have the pump, which is black, and we have the RBK or Reebok abbreviation on, on the bottom part that represents the uh, core victory pump, which was uh, the tennis ball. Now, here is one element I would have done a little bit different here. I would have made bottom portion where the neon is. I would have made this the actual same material that is the on the original one or the tennis ball kind of feeling material, but maybe they had problems recreating the same thing. So I'm not that mad. I'm just, uh, I'm just really happy with the creation here, with the innovation and the inspiration creating both pumps at the same time. Uh, obviously those of you uh, that know the original Court Victory Pump, you know the featured all around pump system, just like on the Twilight Zone, we have pump system on the ton and we have pump system bladder around your heel. Pretty much every retro that I'm aware of before did not feature the pump system on the back. We only had the ton throughout the years. The Court Victory Pump has been re-released many, many, many times and always featured only the ton uh, pump system. And here is no difference. We have just the ton pump system. It's kind of slim, small. Uh, the, the ton pump system used to be extending pretty much all the way down to the platform of the shoe or your insole. Uh, it was going around both medial and lateral side of your foot. 
but they, these ones are small and it's barely uh, forming a ton. Uh, it pumps as air coming in. I can hear it coming in and out again, but it's nowhere near what we have back in the day. And I've stressed that enough plenty, so I'm not expecting any uh, changes and differences there. These are produced in October of last year. So very recently again, and the laces here are very interesting. They're sort of a three stripe cotton laces that I have not seen before. Uh, they're very nice to st and strong to tight and they're not gonna get unlaced because of their cotton. And on top of that, Reebok has added actual stitching on the toe, which I've showed you many models, including the Omnizone, including the Twilight Zone, where we have faux stitching. Uh, it's just part of the mold and it's ne there's never any thread there. But here on this model, they actually added the stitching, which is reinforcement of the toe. And we have the toe drag patch, which normally on the Cord Victory pump is this kind of a rubberized or rubber material. Here is the same material as the Shack or the Reebok overlay, which is synthetic new book. Obviously, they're not expecting a lot of people to play tennis in these. Although, if you want to, you can. I'm personally going to be wearing these casually because I absolutely love them. The outsole is the same as on the Core Victory Pump. We have mixture of colors, purple, green, uh, and some yellow for the under hexalite. And again and again, I'm gonna say whatever compound Reebok are doing with their midsoles is extremely soft and comfortable compared to anything that we saw in the original pair. I remember the original pair have multiple upon multiple retros throughout the year of the Court Victory Pump and the midsole is never that soft and that comfortable. And when you put these on feet and start walking around, they're instantly comfortable and almost feels like they have the actual hexalite inside, which obviously they don't. Uh, this is the modern day hexalite, but because how soft this midsole is, uh, I'm not really missing the comfort because the comfort is there. I can tell you that right away. One of the biggest changes here, and I really appreciate small details like that. We have the Shaq logo on the back, which is excellent. But instead of the regular Shaq dunking figure, we have Shaq, a little overweight Shaq, uh, serving a tennis ball, which is excellent. And I really, really, really appreciate this small detail because it's so accurate, you still have the Shaq logo, but on top of that, you have Shaq playing tennis, which is kind of the inspiration behind this, if Shaq ever played tennis instead of uh, playing basketball. We have the same inner liner on the back of the tongue and on the back of the shoe that is signature for that model for the Court Victory Day. It's kind of like this uh, mesmerizing checkerboard style uh, fabric. And on all around the hill, plenty of padding. It's all black, but that's fine. The only uh, kind of a, I don't say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say a huge negative, but a negative nevertheless, is the insole. The insole is very simple, run out of the mill insole that I keep showing you on pretty much any retro lately. Uh, there's no Reebok Athletics. There's not even a Ortolite. It's just a simple insole made out of a polyurethane of some sort. And on top of it, there's nothing special, just two uh, different vector logos with two different colors, with the purple and the green, uh, kind of back-to-back -back created, and that's it. But again, not because of the insole, not because of the hexalite, but because of the midsole, this shoe is extremely comfortable. And those of you that bought it, I'm sure once you put it on feet, you're gonna see immediately how comfortable and soft it is. Uh, through the size to me, those of you that are extremely wide footers, maybe go half a size up. But for all the rest of you, I think true to size is the way to go. And I'm really excited to see what other colorways they can bring here because the options are unlimited. Honestly, this shoe is going to be very popular. I already know a lot of people like it. I already know a lot of people are going to get this shoe. So I'm sure Reebok will not stop with this one. And they're going to try to do as many uh, colorways as possible. And let me give them a little hint. If you guys do a reverse one with the black base and white overlay, for the logo these are going to look incredible as well uh, but realistically there's there's tons of possibilities with colorways here the same speed lacing system just like on the shack attack are implemented here uh, and uh, just the, the sheer mixture of different cues and different elements from both shoes are so well integrated here and wayner uh the the project manager of of this shoe has done such an incredible job I just cannot praise it enough. I have to admit, I'm not always a huge fan of the projects coming out, uh, and I'm not always a huge fan of the materials, 
but when uh, credit is due credit needs to be given because this is an exceptional shoe exceptional design he did a great job on the elements of the toe box with the little waves uh, incredible implementation of genuine materials and cues and elements from both shoes are integrated so well that the shoe itself looks incredible it's very comfortable and it's different that's something that really could have been done back in the day and if I take somebody that is not familiar with Reebok and tell them this is a shoe that came out in early 90s, they will definitely believe me because it looks like a shoe from the early 90s. There's nothing modernized here. There's nothing that is like, oh, why did you guys put this material? It doesn't belong in the shoe. This is straight out of the 90s kind of shoe that is completely uh, fitting with the time frame and completely fitting with what uh, Reebok was doing back in the day. So I absolutely appreciate uh, the level of details here and the work done with this specific shoe because it's exceptional those of you that have any doubts go out there and grab yourself a pair i'm telling you you're going to be blown away by the level of the genuine leather here no other brand is using this i haven't seen it jordan brand forget about it nike as well um, here and there some smaller brands will use a similar level of quality but this is something that i am personally always excited about because those were the days shoes were made like this and they need to be made like this because this is this is what will keep the shoe forever if you have this kind of a genuine letter on the shoe this is never going to crack this is never going to crumble it's not going to peel it's not going to do any of that stuff and you can wear them 30 years later no problem whatsoever so if i sound excited about these ones that's because i'm genuinely very excited and absolutely love this model big kudos to reebok and the project managers there moving this project forward giving it a great light and bringing it to the market so we can enjoy it and absolutely love this one that's pretty much it guys hit the thumbs up if you like the video stay tuned to the channel subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel very soon i'm gonna have even more a lot more exciting reebok models are coming and other brands as well and as always guys you have a wonderful day